Hello YouTubers, um, I'm here because I did some changes to my setup. Um, right now I bought a 48 volt uh, inverter that I'm running right now. And I still have my two grid tie inverters. Now the problem was that uh, I wanted to go 48 volts. And um, this inverter only can do around 46 volts open circuit and I needed more voltage uh, so that the charge controller that I also changed um, could uh, uh, charge the batteries because the voltage of the PV must be uh, uh, higher than the voltage of the battery bank so so yeah what I did was I divided um, uh, 24 volts on this side on the solar uh, panel bank and 24 volts on the other side and they must be of even watts alright and then what I did was I I I I configured 48 volts from here from this two I, I put the positive to negative and and I took the negative from here and positive from here and put it to the to the uh, solar charge controller all right so yeah that's what I did and uh, now uh, as you can see, I also upgraded my batteries to um, the brand is CD Technologies Dynasty UPS High Rate Max batteries. So I have four of those. Um, oh, there we go. The fan kicked in of this charge controller. It's a 40 amp uh, model. And also, you can see the voltage, uh, only two-digit voltage. You you won't be able to. Let me see if I can. No, nope. you can't quite see it right. Um, but it is a 40 amp. Um. Uh, MPPD charger. And there it says it's doing around five, six, six amps at. 50 something volts, 7 amps. Um, so, yeah, now it's working good. Um, uh, just make sure with this charge controller and others, um, turn on first when you're turning it on the battery bank, and then you uh, turn on the PV. I'm using uh, 5 Oceans uh, cutoff switch uh, to do this. Alright. Um, and I configured this uh, MPVT charger with my computer. That's what I'm using. So you can see it's charging the batteries. There you can see the voltage of the battery, and the amps, and the watts 374 watts. And also the PV voltage and the controller has a sensor, uh, temperature sensor, which I have connected. It says 38 uh, degrees Celsius. And there we can see the status of the MPPT charger. It says constant current charging. And this will change to float and so on all right so it is working 356 watts it's around 9 a.m. so that's uh, I don't know pretty good everything's working my refrigerator is working with uh, the system and all I want it was to see the efficiency uh, running off grid versus um, uh, with the grid and 
and the, the what's going into the house so that's what I'm gonna do right now hope the Sun stays the same there we see 368 watts or 62 okay let's let's do this all right let's cut off the PV as you can see I don't know if you can see it the PV should go down there we go supposedly says 50 volts I'm guessing that this is uh, taking some current from the batteries or it indicates or it has some kind of a capacitor I don't know 50 volts going down the, the battery voltage 52 49 yeah it must be a capacitor or something like that and the status went to no charge okay and the, you, you can see the graphic there not doing anything at all so okay now I'm gonna turn off the charge controller there we go alright now let's turn off my inverter there we go emergency light went up and now we are going to cut off current from the batteries to my inverter and now we crap I forgot to turn off my computer before doing this so now it's yeah for shutdown that sucks okay now let's connect this here and turn it on and the transfer switch back to the grid there we go and turn this on and there you can see it's turning on 170 volts now let's turn on my grid tie inverters kicking in so it was around 360 something watts let's see what we could produce with this oh, 324 326 so that means at this time 9 a.m. that they are pretty close my 48 volt system and the two grid ties that are working on individual solar banks of 24 volts are pretty close there you can see a 337 337 I, uh, I hope to because um, uh, first I had six solar panels here and two here and I had to balance that so I could uh, uh, connect this so I don't you know uh, limit uh, my my solar panel to the smallest uh, uh, bank so what I did was divide um, divided two here I mean four here and four here instead of six here and two here um, so this should be in safe within safe specs or around I don't know 200 or 300 um, uh, watts and this well you know 1000 watt inverter so it should be uh, uh, working cool okay so in the future I might um, buy one more and you know um, go to around 600 watts on each bank this can still take a little more this one uh, only 500 watts um, they recommend around 600 watt um, the input uh, oh. yeah well the system is working 360 um, 360 watts 364 so yeah it could be that the Sun or there was a cloud there so they're they're almost the same yeah three so oh yeah definitely um, okay youtubers hope you enjoyed my video 
I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, I'll be doing an off-grid installation uh, for my mom because she uh, is building a, a house on another place and, and we don't have grid there, so I'll be using a 48 volt for my for her refrigerator and I'll be going 12 volt um, uh, for the lighting and uh, washing machine and, and, and dryer which is a gas dryer uh, a hybrid uh, gas electric um, dryer which is more much more efficient than uh, the electric uh, dryer okay youtubers you take care thanks for watching bye bye